so the outside scorches but you don't have to pick it off very far before you get to unburnt. This forest was hit by a wildfire just a few weeks ago. Conditions were bone dry, threatening dozens of nearby homes. Contrast here, what happened on this slope? Fire came down the slope towards the road. Firefighters were here. They were able to stop it at the road and prevent it from moving onto the other side and towards the homes. But it was stopped. Several years ago, this forest was made more resistant to fire. Dead, dry timber was removed and the trees pruned. Well, you can see all the lower branches have been removed you know, around us here. So the idea behind that is that if there's a, a fire on the ground, it doesn't have fuel to get up into the, into the treetops above us. Climate change means mega fires like those seen in the U.S. will become more common and people living in or near forested areas need to adapt. It's critical. This, you know, this helps protect communities and really we need, to, we need to be moving into doing more of this at a larger scale. Um, and the, the grey smoke first of all and then the black smoke. Paul Edmonds shot this video a few weeks ago from his front porch. I could see this um, small column of smoke coming up, maybe the size of a campfire, and then must have been five minutes later, it must have been the size of a tennis court. Five minutes after that, it was a roaring, you know, a football field. This time, only one house was lost after embers landed on its cedar roof. This way, Edmonds credits the preventative work in the nearby woods with helping to save the rest. So we have to be much more aware and we have to look at the warning signs what's happened in California, Oregon and now closer to us, Washington. But removing all the potential fuel isn't easy. It's tough, slow work in a province covered top to bottom in trees. It makes a huge difference. Uh, pretty much if, if it will stop the fire from going up on the trees. I live myself in the forest. I've been evacuated a few times for fire living in the Okanagan. It's the way it is. And the more we do this, the less it's dangerous for people. This relatively small patch of forest illustrates the scale of the problem. You have to multiply this by millions and millions of trees. We know that with climate change, fires are becoming um, more common, that they're bigger fires and more intense fires. This expert says what the U.S. is experiencing should be viewed as a warning for Canadians. And so with warmer climate, longer fire seasons and more pronounced droughts, the projection is for greater area burned. We're on that trajectory already in Canada. A gloomy picture, but amidst the ashes, a small sign of hope. Look at the, the grass that's starting to come back in here. Just weeks after the fire, life is already taking hold in the areas that had been treated to be fire resistant. Greg Rasmussen, CBC News, Penticton, BC.